Hello everyone and welcome back guys to even more iRacing content on the channel and today we're here for the first round of the IMSA series. Now this one is uh, Daytona prototypes, GTE and GT3. Now as you can probably tell just uh, right there, I am driving the Porsche 991 RSR. I'm pretty certain that's meant to be 911 if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong. I'm not 100% sure. Whatever it counts, it is the GTE car for this one. Now, I'm actually tempted to do both the GTE and the GT3 for this series, but I'll wait and see about that. But yeah, round one today at Imola. Really looking forward to this one. Imola is a track that ultimately I don't actually get to drive that much, but I am quite a fan of overall. So yeah, looking forward to this one overall. Uh, not too sure what to expect, though, in the grand scheme of things. Um, I've never done like a proper race in this Porsche. So I don't really know too well how it's going to fare. Um, obviously, I've done some racing in the past in the Mercedes uh, GT3 car. That is, obviously, if I do go back and do this series again, then I'll obviously have that one as well. But yeah, in terms of sign-ups, there was, I think, so ridiculous, like 125 people signed up for this. You know, it's new season, uh, new season hype and everything like that. Uh, first round as well. Imola's quite a popular circuit. Uh, which obviously means that even more people are going to show up as well. I'm not going to lie, I would quite like to do some of these in the Daytona prototype. Those have always been like quite good fun cars. I've enjoyed them in like other games and sims that I've driven as well. So maybe, maybe down the line, but I'm a bit worried they're going to be obsolete quite soon as well. But I think, if anything, I'd be more inclined to get like an up-to-date LMP2 car if they ever decide to drop one of those. Now we have LMP1. But yeah, the Porsche so far... I've done a few laps sort of here and there with it, you know, around different tracks. I personally am quite a big fan of it so far. Uh, it's very, very enjoyable. I do really need to get good in it quite quickly as well because I have got a six-hour endurance coming up this weekend, which will hopefully be streamed on this channel. I'm not actually sure if this channel just yet has um, the option to stream, so I'll have to wait and see about that. But it'll be on Twitch nonetheless. But yeah, through the final couple of corners then, let's start... Our first lap. We're running baseline setup. Haven't made any alterations to it. It just felt fine in the practice I did. I'm not expecting to win this. These races are really competitive. So I'm probably, you know, eyeing for just a clean, quiet race to myself and just, you know, learn uh, what it's like to obviously drive a GT car for longer since and everything like that. Big lock up in to T1. And that's my first lap. Gone. Well, that map just pinched. I sort of broke too late, realised, and panicked. Honestly, there, so a bit of a silly error by myself. Need to come straight on the road rather than down at the steering wheel. I swear there is a uh, fuel count on this car, but clearly not showing up right now, which is a bit annoying. Can I flick through? No, it's all still on here, which is a bit sad. But yeah, anyway, moving back to this Porsche, though. As I said, I'm quite a big fan of it. It does tend to drive quite smoothly. Um, I've done some laps around Monza, around Sebring, around Imola. Um, one more as well, but I can't quite remember where it is at the moment. But yeah, looking forward to this series as well. Uh, IMS are obviously a very, very popular series on iRacing overall because it's got GT and GT3 cars. The GTEs seem to have now overtaken the GT3s as most popular. I think that's sort of down to the fact that obviously GT3s are very easy to drive in comparison because they have ABS. So I think a lot of people have avoided them because they're easy to drive and you get put with noobs and instead it seems like everyone's now with the GTE car, so no one drives the GT3 and then you're stuck with noobs and GTE instead, like me, for example. But yeah, looking forward to this one. Let's actually try and get a good lap in now. I'll probably go fire for this run and just see what happens because I actually want to get this one right. I've no idea what a good time around here is as well. I'm going to guess around sort of 1 minute 40, 1 minute 39 mark, but it depends on track 10. Car does feel quite nice with low fuel, to be fair. A little bit of a lock up on the way in, but it sort of helped me through the ball. That's a bit weird. Oh, 
Oh, no. No, 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 no. That was not what I wanted to do. But we haven't invalidated. That's the most important thing. That was a horrific error. I keep getting it wrong through that. It's so difficult in this car. Well, I say it's so difficult. It's just where you've got to... You've either got to commit to braking early and then carrying the speed through, which I'll probably do during the race, or you just try to break through the corner, lock up, and do what I just did. So, not ideal there, but we haven't invalidated the lap. We've lost a good four seconds, so we're going to be right down the rear of the GTE field. But rather that than start just in front of all the GT3s, because they can sometimes be quite a mess. And I've, in the past, as you well, may have seen from a couple of the GT3 races I've done, uh, the GT3s have a tendency to stick with the rear of the GTEs, which is a bit of a pain around some tracks. Over the line, then, it's P15. Um, I don't know how many GTEs there are, so if I'm minus four and a half seconds, I would have been down on the one minute forces. So, yeah, a bit frustrating, but, you know, that was my mistake. We'll just have to focus on the race. Let's see what times people were getting then, results. So, people were in the 39s, so... Yeah, I mean, we were probably really, actually, mid-pack GTE there. That's actually quite reassuring. The top two, a 39-1, very, very quick. But yeah, I reckon I could be around sort of the 1 minute 40s overall there. Unfortunately, we're in a 45, so we're sort of in no man's land at the moment. But still, hey-ho. Uh, we haven't actually got any DPs either, which is ideal. So we're not going to have to worry about getting lapped, hopefully, in this race, which is always nice and reassuring. But yeah, I'm pretty certain we're going to be... Well, I mean, unless someone... Well, someone... There we go. Someone's 10 seconds off me. So I, I guess we'll take that. But yeah, the aim, as always, keep the instant count low. Move the SR up a bit. Hopefully gain a bit of I rating as well. We are ranked number six in this lobby. So we've certainly got a bit of climbing to do in the race. But obviously we'll wait and see as to what we can manage. You know, we'll try and keep it calm off the start. The guys in GT3 are running like 43s, so they shouldn't really be a threat for me, but obviously we've got to carve our way through the GTEs and try not to get killed because there's a tendency for that, I'll be completely honest. Well, at this rate, we're going to be starting at the very worst on the second back row if this guy just decides not to qualify whatsoever. So, I mean, I'd, I'd take that at the end of the day. Um... Yeah, we got how many cars? 31? Yeah, 31 in this split. So there was four splits overall then. So yeah, about 120 just over people racing tonight. Uh, we are Div 3 somehow. That's quite worrying. I'm, I'm not too sure how I keep ending up in Div 3, to be honest. But I don't know how it's decided. Um, someone might have to tell me that. But yeah, I don't really know. So that guy's got quite a clear-cut advantage in GT3. He, those two have got quite a clear-cut advantage. He's got a clear-cut advantage. Over him, he's got a clear cut advantage over him. But yeah, we're ready then. Uh, in terms of, I do need to make sure fuel and everything is on. Where is the fuel? Is there anywhere for the fuel? Or am I just not noticing it? Um, here we go. Fuel. Good job, I remember that. And before we start, I remember to disable the tyre changes. So we've got 60 litres. Apply. Done. Uh, grid, and we will, before I forget, One to green. Line up on the right side. we will road is stop replacing all of the tyres. So yeah, we'll estimated fuel, uh, we got 22 laps worth, that obviously won't get us right the way through, but we'll pit around the halfway stage. We'll go safe on fuel. Cars like this, you know, you're not really going to gain much by, uh, I don't know, actually, we'll wait and see. We'll see how we feel. See where we're at. But yeah, this is, hopefully gonna go okay we'll try and keep it clean off the start avoid any action in front of me hope the gt3 sort of fall back quite a bit off the launch as well but yeah we'll wait and see got another porsche alongside me don't know why i mess around with all those buttons hopefully we'll be ready to go in just a one moment not a particularly long run to the line around here. Although I am used to Daytona and obviously you've sort of got like the whole oval where you can space out a lot easier. It's, it's a bit weird the way it sort of works. But yeah, hopefully the GT3's bailed back quite a bit. I'm sure fill it with pace like that is probably well aware of what to do. Yeah, I'm just watching the water pressure. Yeah, it must have slightly creep up. I should hopefully get it up a bit. Hopefully, we'll get underway in just a moment. Oh, no 
there's some chopping and changing going on behind. There we go. We're ready to go. 45 minutes here at Imola. First round of the new series. Looking forward to this. Not too sure. Uh, okay, no, it's just one guy in my split that is running quite far behind. So, there we go. We've got one Ferrari and we've got another. So, it does seem like the GT3s have decided to give us a bit of room, which is always nice. And let's just hope we can avoid the carnage off the start. I will be definitely... I would definitely be quiet off this one because Get I do ready. want to concentrate. Going green. The pipe car is in. And there we go. I've not got off to the best start there, but honestly, I Get absolutely ready. do not care. We just slowed down at the wrong time, but we've got a nice advantage of the guy behind me. So we don't even need to worry about him. Hopefully, famous last words going in towards T1. Let's try and keep it clean and move our way up through the pack. Let's watch to see if there's any carnage. Usually. Oh, there we go. There's one. There's a couple gone. Oh my god, I'm not too sure what that Porsche was doing there. Um, I think we're just going to go like that there and try to avoid that. That has not gone well for him, though. I'm pretty certain I saw him reversing back across the track. So, I'm not too sure what that was all about. But, well, I mean, it's come off a lot worse for him than it has me. So, I will take that. We've lost out quite a bit of time, then, unfortunately. But, there you go. I'd rather that than lose out on a wheel. You know, I want to see him now. Got to try and keep the instinct down low. It's you know, fairly easy to pick up pens around here. It is especially, obviously, in a quicker car. You do tend to, if you make a mistake, it goes a lot worse than in, like, the Mazda that I'm used to from Spa. But, yeah, we'll try and catch back up to the rest of the field. Still got to be careful through there, though, especially on heavy fuel. I'll probably be dropping it down his third on the way in, I think, rather than trying to glide it through like that, because I did get quite lucky there. Oh, running a little bit wide, try to get the power down. These things don't have ABS, but do still have traction control. Which, I'm not too sure which one I'd prefer. To be honest, I prefer both, but now I'd be driving a GT3 car again. But I guess the ABS does make it a little bit oh, easier for, like, overtakes and stuff. Like, oh my god, where am I going? On, like, the brakes and things. How have I not picked up any instant points for that? Okay. Cheers, I racing. But yeah, I mean, it, it sort of favours the Brave then, GT. I can see why, obviously, it's a high class of driver. And this guy's got a tremendous run. Car right. Clear. Okay, line through turn one. All these guys are having a bit of a squall up the road. Up to P14. Okay, I don't actually know what position I started. I think it was P16. I think it might have been slightly lower than that. It might have been P17. I don't know if this guy does appear like the other side of that. No, I don't know. Is that Ferrari looking healthy? I can't work it out. And I'm not. Whatever happens, we're just going to try and go for a move. Whenever. Well, safely, obviously. Oh, we've got good drive. This Porsche does feel quite good on the traction zones. When does he get a break? Oh, golly, he's breaking very early. Wasn't actually intended to go for that. Oh, Ferrari dead. I yeah, wasn't actually intended to go for that. He broke a lot earlier than I was expecting to, but hang on. Should be us up, up. Should be us up another two places then. It is quite nice you can sort of lean on my car through the corners with the traction control though. Like through there you can feel the traction kicking in, but it like it doesn't cut the car the power out too much and then just cause it to rotate anyway. But then you've still got like a little bit with it. 130 oh 142, I was gonna say that's impressive. Heavy fuel obviously, times will be a lot slower. It's not quite like the Mazda's where slip strip is everything. That was good fun though, I enjoyed that. Looking forward to next week, don't know where we're racing. Like. Don't know where I'm racing next week in this series, to be honest, either. Come on, get the car in. So 
Okay, we're up to P12 then. The game wants me to finish P6. I'm pretty certain that's based off uh, SLF strength of field. But I'm not too sure if like we'll lose something if we finish lower than that. Or what? I don't know, like GT Sport is like a fairly similar system in terms of the numbering is where you should aim to finish. Oh, that's Oh, okay. I gained 1.5 seconds out of that. Fair enough. Don't personally feel I gained that much from it, but... Okay. Now we'll have to try and close back up again. Just those little things that knock the confidence back ever so slightly. ahead of the lead GT3 still. I wonder if we... Well, no, I don't know if I have to lap on this race. We've got a good sort of three second advantage, but about 100 second lap in these cars. So, yeah, we're we'll getting sort of four seconds a lap over like the lower, slower ones. So 25 laps. It'll be tight. We might be lapping right at the very end. Fronts. Oh, another dead. Sus of another place. This guy's trying to have a look at any opportunity. And I'm just slowly getting into a rhythm. That's a big walk up. Didn't want to do that. That's also a big switch. Didn't want to do that either. Can we get up the inside. Certainly gonna give it a go yeah, now, we'll, we'll bail out. Oh god, where am I going? Past him, really. Right side. Oh no, we're not. He's still there. Still there. Oh okay, let's bail out now. Clear. So let's have another two places up to ten. He's definitely having a lot of issues with the player behind me in the porch. Lap five. Yeah, top ten. Lap five. Top ten. Moving on. Up. I've got to concentrate a bit more on these cars. I did. I, I just can't go right. I just enjoyed that mouse race. Oh god. So much there. I decided like nearly. Throw the car. That was not even. There we go. That was a bit weird. Hit the curb and just decided they're going to gnarly you. 37 minutes to go though. Bit worried that only 8 minutes in. I'm already having a look how long's left. Never goes well. It's exactly the same, well, almost exactly the same length race as the Masters, but it certainly feels a lot more intense. Well, you can use that curve on the outside there. That felt good. That was a good line. Can probably be a bit braver. Oh, as soon as I say that, probably shouldn't be as brave. Probably need to take a bit of a straighter line in and try to cut a bit more. Make it a bit more of a 90 degree angle through the first part of the chicken. I'll slow down and through there. I'm enjoying the Porsche though. I quite like it. I'm a big fan. These races are obviously limited to the half fuel tank as well. I'm pretty certain. It's about half. I need about 105 litres in the Porsche. beautiful when you get a line like that. You just feel the car wants to lock up, but you, you just don't put enough pressure on it for it to do so. Take a bit more of a course to slide through there, that time range. 
Yeah. Even there's a good little track though, because there's a lot of like you can use the curbs quite nicely. Because a lot of them have got run up on the outside. So I can get two wheels properly over. But it's always very satisfying when you have certain nailing. Or a run up around here. Back down the hill. There's a little bit of a battle going on for P7. I hope we can try and get up to that, depending on how they start battling. Start to get used to that corner a bit more now. Still didn't get that line right. Struggling through that. Too sure that was a corner cut, but okay, game. If you say so. Certainly felt like I tacked the curves, and anything I cut. Yeah, I'm now really intrigued to see if we ever end up getting to the GT GT3s. I set my first 46 of the race. I want to be consistently in the 40 months, probably. Yeah, those guys were definitely starting to all bunch up a bit. Well, I mean, the last race I did, I think I got six or seven, and yet my SR still went up just a little bit. I mean, I'm, I'm not exactly pushing for my A license, but it would be useful to have. Because I mean, I can do a few more little bits and bobs. But yeah, I think there's the VRS Endurance series. And obviously the F1 car. I think I spoke about this in the Mazda. To me, I'm not really interested in driving the F1 car. Oh, get that front engine. Or at least not at the moment. More focused on GT racing. 42008. Now that's that. That Ferrari ahead of me is definitely all over the back of the nail. It's definitely got a bit more pace than me. Does Hubertus an interesting one. That was close. That was clearly off track. I felt I kept the wheels on the inside, but unless you just keep the curb with them. That's the run I want through there, and that's a bit better. Those guys are so close. That's probably going to be a crash into here. Nope, they've kept it all tidy. That Porsche is definitely starting to cause a bit of a bottleneck here. Works for me, though. Oh, wait, no, the Porsche has got through. Ah, it's all changing up. I 
I feel at the moment, though, we're only really closing up because they're all fighting. I don't actually feel I've got much raw pace over these guys. I don't think I've got any raw pace over these guys. Like, I'm not catching them as quickly as I'd like to be. The kind they're all fighting. It's sort of weird how you can, like, with the GT3 policy, you know you can just lean on it everywhere. It's sort of weird to retune your mind to realise that you can lean on this thing. No. Okay, we're allowed to go over that. You can lean on this thing on the exits, but you can't really lean on it so much on the entrance. So you've sort of got to train your mind to push a bit more. Mr. Blue Ferrari must be picking himself up a few instant points. And we are just bringing ourselves into this battle. Gap behind is quite big as well. It's always nice to know. That's a cool cut there, buddy. I feel like the Ferrari does take the curves a bit better. I'm trying to slingshot. Oh, it's all getting argy bargy. No, we cannot, is the answer. We'll certainly try and give it a go. God, those Ferraris are quick down the straights. Oh, there's a bump. Car right. Still there. It's already squeezed me. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Just going to pay it out into that. Don't really want to do too much with it. Don't want to be, don't want to be the aggressor in this situation. Make yourself enemies. Ugh! Don't want to also make mistakes either. That'd be useful. I'd try to let them continue battling and, as I said, try to slingshot past them both in one go. But I think that might be a little bit optimistic of me with traction control. But I understand your race car. Okay. Not too sure how that was, but... It's almost halfway through already. This race is starting to fly by now. I've got a good battle. Oh, they've locked up. He's cut the corner. That'll be a slowdown. I hope. Oh, broke a bit early there. That 
matter. Hopefully we can get past Will soon. I don't think he's quite got the pace over myself. So he just keeps making the mistake through there. Don't want to go for a move into that. That would just be death. We definitely want to try and go for a move soon, though. He's costing me time. Okay, he's willing to take a lot more out of that one, I think. To keep between the lines. Thank you, buddy. Good drive out. Good drive out. Doesn't have the slipstream to help him. Tires still certainly feel quite good though. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I feel that one's a bit inconsistent. Still unsure what I'm doing when he cut the chicane. Did he get a pen for it? I know not. I'm still also a bit unsure what those like does the purple I think the purple is traction control and the yellow is um, locking up, but I don't know for sure what it means. Like when they sort of just flash up here and there. 1 minute 40.9, okay. And we're now behind the GT3 as well. Oh, they early on the power. It's all well and good to be a run wide on the exit of the next one. Definitely kicked in there. Oh, the Ferrari's got through in a good place as well. We have run away from Will though pretty quickly. So we can try and get past this Mercedes quite quickly as well. Maybe down the front straight away. Or maybe on the exit here. Seems to work for me. Car on your left. Still there. Clear on the left. Actually starting to wonder if we do have a little bit of pace over the further. Huber even. I don't get like you seem to gain through some form of massively. I think the Ferrari and Porsche do very different cars. Weird that I don't think I've seen a Ford GT yet though. There's definitely some in here. But I just haven't seen them.
of mine out of there. So ideal. Okay, now we're in, now we're not obviously stepping on the other guy. And this guy is quite cool. We're starting to discover a bit more pace. And I think the fuel's coming down, which is certainly well, the fuel is coming down, which is certainly helping us. I didn't want to do that. As soon as I said about having a good pace, I got a lock up. How far in are we? So we've only got 20 minutes to go then. Oh, and again. I wonder if we will have to fit. Probably. Go left. So we've only got 4.2 gallons left. Yeah, we'll definitely have to pay. You have about five laps of fuel left. There we go. Oh, come on. Let's not doing that. I feel the tyres definitely starting to go, but they aren't worth the uh, waiting time in the pits. Or at least they aren't on the GT3. Exit now, we can't get the car to the apex grip. Come on, mate. That is fun. That's actually quite useful. Fair play. Clear. Fair play to him. The end of the city was, well, obviously. Would be slow with me anyway. But he actually got out of the way quite nicely. In the end. It's always very easy for the faster cars to melt as well. Because you, you, you almost. Like, you can drive that car as much as you like, but then you also then just forget about how slow it is relative. I think it's with GT, the GT3s, because they're not actually that much slower than the GTs. Oh, it's a bit of a mistake. Oh, that's a bit of a mistake in the other way from me. One, two, even with that lap car traffic. Is it up all of the track space? last words. That Ferrari takes the curve so nicely. Don't know if he's got like a setup on or what, but actually I don't even this series can be fixed up. Actually yeah, I'm pretty certain it is. Ah that's why Oh he's pitting, is he? No. He's just taking a very weird line. Say that's really interesting. Look at that, we've already gained around 8 seconds on Will. Fuel level low. Uh, Sorry, not even locked up, we just over the engine. Oh, 
break it early. He's feeling the pressure. That Porsche, well, this Porsche is definitely a bit quicker in the first sector. I think it was the first half of the lap, to be honest. I think he only really gains through the chicane, particularly. Unfortunately, through that chicane, he gains quite a bit. Oh, that, oh, that's close. The lead is bidding now. Run as well. Go left. Ah. You have about two laps of fuel left. I'm going to dive it in the end of this one, I think. There's fuel. I don't really want to have that much, do I? I'm going to add about 12 litres. That's why it's straight that we can change it. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll stay out one more, and then we'll change it on the front straight. Hopefully we're not all over the back of this car. I'd have a go in the Audi R8 to be fair, but it's not worth the money when I've already got the money. It just seems like a fun car to drive. Twelve point four gallons in. You're in fourth position. Right side. Clear. So right, let's make this lap count. How long have we got left? Anyway, thirteen minutes. So I think we were sat in, what, P9? Before everyone started to make their pit stops. The fact this thing's actually got a pit limiter. It's quite useful over the monster. Too much fuel in, but I'll take it. 
Oh shit. Go on. Go! Oh, that was terrible. No idea what that was all about. Gonna get the car started, put it into second, and then still gonna get the car started. We've lost many time from that. That was not a deal. Seven seconds. We're just two. Um, well, sorry, no, we're not breathing up on the field, are we? Ever. Oh, let's go way too safe. Now this car is not going to be too enjoyable for the last 10 minutes. Because it's got heavy fuel, wrecked tyres. Not too sure why we picked up 6 seconds of optimal optional repairs either, because we haven't actually made contact with anyone this race. Unless it's from that one time where we decided to send it skyward. Let's try and keep the instant count so as close to zero as possible then between now and the end. Oh god, he's letting me through, I'm gonna guess. It's amazing, if you just sow the nose, even if you've got no intention of actually going for it, people will just bail out. People seem to think other people are maniacs. So you can sort of utilise that by then coming across a little bit like a maniac, but less of an aggressive one. I mean, it works at the end of the day. I think it's one of those wonderful things where if they don't break early, then you break early and you avoid the accident. If they do, well, then you've just gained a free spot. I'll get up to about lap 28, I think. Lap 27, maybe. I don't know. Probably fans doing the mental maths. I'll beat that in. See, I can't, well, I can't. We're actually getting better through there, or it's just the fact that we don't have him storming away through there. So I just feel like I'm getting better. But, yeah, I still can't take that shame very well. Not in this thing, anyway. Ugh. It's been an enjoyable race, though. I quite like this one. First proper GTE race. It's certainly been very, very good fun. Just like it was in the Masters. Now I've sort of remembered how to drive on this sim. So we're just doing bits of practice here and there. I've come into the season one of 2019 with a bit more confidence in my own ability as well, which is just as important as actually having a bit more pace. Don't believe in yourself, there's no point being there. It's working wonders so far. A couple of weeks back, I could not drive this thing. Locking up everywhere. But now, look at me. It's still locking up, but a little bit less. Still picking up more instant points there. So I don't think, I'm 
unless I'm seeing something happen, so I think we're actually going to see another car this race. The GT3 looks... Eh, it might be close, actually. But yeah, the GT3 looks a little bit too far up the road. We don't... We were close up to... Hubert a little bit. Gotta buy enough, anyway. Five minutes to go. Oh, that just didn't get car down enough gears. So, well, Phil is 53 seconds up the road, so he's had a fantastic race. I mean, we've got to remember, obviously, if we actually didn't force up our qualifying and, you know, had to take evasive action from that monster crash at the start, we could have probably been a little bit, obviously, on raw theoretical pace, we could have easily been a few more seconds up the road. Probably lost a good sort of 10 seconds, I'd say. Oh, no, probably more than that, really, isn't it? Good sort of 15 seconds from that, so. But, it was my mistake originally that caused it. It wasn't like it was just bad luck. I've learned how to drive around here now, so it's all a big learning experience. the mind kind of things because when you're locked up obviously you don't slow down enough so the instant reaction is to use more brake but obviously on the contrary you meant to use less it's it's a strange and frustrating idea but anyway. to be fair you can be quite aggressive on the brakes anyway in these things but not quite like an open wheeler where any sort of brake crusher is just going to involve in death can still be well I mean the graph is all the way down there. You can see how much brake input I'm using. Yeah, I think everyone's just bringing down the pace now. Wants to bring it home. No battling that I'm aware of. Don't want second through there either. Actually, quite surprised that time I didn't pick up a warning then. So this might, well, the next lap might be the last one. Actually, uh, no, I don't know. I don't know whether that's live timing or end of last lap. But, you know, we'll find out. So we have taken another second, right? I'm still learning how much more you can do with this car. Like, let's be fair, I'll never get to a point where I can drive this thing on the absolute edge, but I've still got plenty of time to play in it. You look at someone that's done like a 39 and you think, how on earth is that possible? But as you do sort of more and more races, you start to realise, yeah, that seemed to be quite doable if I just get it right. And especially since I'm running default setup, I think it's probably a good second at least in that. Yes, 
been a good race though. Uh, yeah, so I think next lap is going to be the final one. Taking about two seconds actually with these last couple of laps. It's quite funny actually. Shame we overfuel so much. How much did we overfuel by in fact? Eight gallons, Jesus. Well, I have seven now. In towards the final couple of corners though of this race. Holy moly. Okay, we're going up the inside. We're on the left. This one, I guess. Wasn't expecting that. Anyway, back away from the scary stuff. Through the final couple of quarters, then, of this race, we actually set a woman of 40.8 last lap, which is decent, considering how dead these tyres are. It's going to be P9 from, I think, P16, P17 on the grid. Very happy with that result at the end of the day. A lot more than I was expecting, honestly. I thought I'd just get dead at 2 1. But there we are. Down towards the line. It's going to be IMSA GTE, my very first race completed. And I'm very, very happy with that one. Alright, there's the ticket flag. Great job, you did really well. Cheers, bud. He always, he always knows what to say. So yeah, very, very happy with that one. At the end of the day, uh, where did... Yeah, we came... P no, we came P8 in the end, okay. I, don't, I think that might be because someone's... Quit, but I don't know for sure, but I'll take, well, P16 to P9, let's say. So we made up seven places in that race. Very, very happy with uh, that one at the end of the day. One, two, three, three retirements, or pretty much, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven overtakes over the course of that race as well. So yeah, really, really happy with that one. But there we are then, guys. That has been IMSA GTE, round one of the 2019 season at uh, uh, Imola, even I should say. Yeah, thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys next time for another race.